Under normal circumstances, okay, I'd run for the hills. But I don't, Katie, she's, she's different, you know? She's so full of life. And right now, it's buried underneath all that grief, and I gotta try to get through to her. You do? Yes. Yes, and if I'm gonna be in it for the long haul, I could do worse than heading up Memorial. What did Katie say when you told her you were staying? She says she knows how I feel about her. That's it? Nothing about her feelings? I mean, she can't make any promises right now. I mean, look, she's not saying no, and she's willing to see where things go, so... A little vague, don't you think? <laughs> well, that's how it is with us. You know, we have our good days and our bad days, three steps ahead, two steps back. Katie needs to feel safe, like she's got someone to lean on. And if I'm here running a hospital, I can do that for her. Fair enough, then do me a favor. Take this thing slow. I mean, Katie's been through a lot. You don't want to scare her off. Yeah, I'm trying not to scare her off. You know, if you and Katie wind up getting married, we won't just be brothers. We'll be brothers-in-law. <laughs> OK, easy. Didn't you just say, take things slow? Come on. <sighs> Uh, oh, what happened? I I'm not sure. He's just hyperventilating. Just... Okay, Henry, relax. Let's get you into an exam room, right? What do I do? You can just wait. All right, hold up. Here, breathe into that, okay? Steady, steady, deep breath, Henry. Relax. Better. Look, Henry, I, I know you're mad at Katie. Oh. And I understand why she helped you in a trick you. But she didn't do it alone. I knew about the whole thing, too. Henry, Henry relax. Rel Henry, relax. Oh. No need oh. to pass up. Breathe oh. it out. Breathe it out. Oh. It, oh. Oh. it hurt me to have to lie to you, OK? But Katie, she, she really believed what she was doing was right. Okay, her intentions, they, they, they were good. <laughs> Although her methods were questionable, illogical, maybe even sometimes illegal, but she sincerely believed that you and Vienna were meant for each other. <laughs> okay? So, point being, if you're gonna be mad at Katie, you gotta be mad at me. Okay. I'm mad at you too. Really? Because I thought you were going to see the bigger picture. I know Katie wanted to make me happy, but she did the opposite. Barbara makes me happy, and she is gone, and Katie could have stopped that. Okay, look, Henry, I don't think Katie understood the depths of your feelings for Barbara. Okay, and from what I saw at your wedding, I don't think you did either. Look, Katie was just fighting for your future the best way she knows how. Look how well that turned out. How's it going? Can you get me another doctor, please? Henry's known you way before you even met Brad. And he does know you. He does know how you feel. And sure, he's angry now, but he'll get past it sooner or later. I don't think so. Especially if something terrible really did happen to Barbara. I mean, what if... I don't want to say it, but what if she's dead? No, no, you're just... You're getting way ahead of yourself here. But we know the kind of person she is. She doesn't just disappear because she's hurt. In fact, she does the exact opposite. That's how she dealt with James Stenbeck all these years. No, we, we don't know anything. I mean, you're, you're just leaping to the worst case scenario. Well, right? why not? It happens. The worst thing that could possibly happen to me happened and I'm never gonna be the same for no, it. No, 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 That's, this is a whole different situation. Something is wrong with Barbara and you know it. I can see it all over you. She could be in trouble or, or dying as we speak, and you keep telling me to have hope, but there's no hope. Katie, can you wait a minute? We don't know anything yet. We really don't. Just look, Paul and, and, and Henry, they could come back in here and they could say, yes, Barbara was lingerie shopping the other day. We just got to hold out for the good news, OK? I'm sorry. I know you're trying, but I can't hear this anymore, OK? I got to go home to Jacob. Hey, baby, Chris just left a little while ago. Mm. Did you offer him lots of sage brotherly advice? Well, I tried to, but to tell you the truth, Chris did most of the talking. Do you know that he's going to go after Dad's job when Dad retires? Really? I thought he didn't want to be an administrator. Yeah, well, changed his mind. Huh. Well, that's a win-win for Bob, right? I know he's been worried about who is going to replace him, and he's always hinted that he wants Chris to be the one. Yeah, well, he's not taking the job because of Dad. He's taking it because of Katie. Well, why? 
Because he's crazy about her? Oh, man, this is just typical Chris Hughes timing. This couldn't be worse. What are you talking about? Oh, well, Katie had a meltdown at the station not but half an hour ago, and, and she's a complete emotional wreck. She just can't get past the fact that Brad isn't coming back, and I think a, pro a serious relationship right now is the last thing she needs. Hey, he knows she's fragile. No, 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 she's grieving, honey. She thinks about Brad constantly. It's just, it's so unhealthy for her. Why can't your brother see that? Maybe because he's in love with her? Oh, my God, he said that? Well, not in so many words, but I think that's what he was trying to say. Hey, look, oh, no. I know what love looks like. He's a goner. No, not, you know, so then this isn't just about Katie. This is Chris's family. We've got to make sure that he doesn't get hurt. He can handle himself. This is not his first relationship. Yeah, and he's done so well in all of oh, the Oh, well, and what if Katie's the one? Well, maybe once upon a time, but not now. Really? And when did you get so careful? Look, I know, my sister. I know that she can't let go of things easily, and she lost her heart when she buried Brad, and I just don't think she's going to recover enough to fall in love again. I have more faith in her than you do. That's because you're on Chris's side. But listen, honey, I, I, I think that Katie and Chris would be great friends, great friends, but just as a partner, he's all wrong. Are you insulting my brother? No. No. No, I'm not. But you have to admit, his, his track record in love life is not so great. So he's made some mistakes. Who hasn't? Some mistakes? Come on, Tom. He's with Molly, and then he's with her daughter, then he's with Emily, and then he's with her sister, and he's with her sister again and again and again. And, and add to that that what's to keep him from grabbing his backpack and taking off for points unknown at any given moment? And Katie, Katie can't take that right now. She needs to feel safe and secure, and she's not going to get that with Chris. Oh, I get it. You got this all figured out. Well, I'm just watching out for my little Katie did. I know what you think you're doing. Has it ever occurred to you that you could be wrong? You do not have permission to treat me. What's the problem? You seem better. I, uh, he just told me that he was part of Katie and Vienna's whole nefarious plot to keep me away from Barbara. You knew? Well, I was trying to apologize. Uh, it's way too late, Benedict Arnold. Would you, would you please go to the nurse's station and find someone else to take over my case? Okay, really, that is not necessary. Actually, I think my brother makes a good point. No, look, he is not going to need another doctor because he is fine. And guess what? I'm not going to charge you for the brown bag. Isn't that great? Don't do me any favors. Okay, look, you might want to try to calm him down before he hyperventilates again, okay? All right. Hello? Hey, Katie. Um, just wanted to let you know Henry is down here at the hospital. What happened? Anxiety attack. But he will live. I'm on my way. You are not being fair to Chris. True, he's had several failed relationships. Well, that number would be in the double digits. Okay, he's a good-looking doctor, but that's not the point. He's had his heart broken, too. I think he's the one who's done most of the breaking. So what? So I don't want my sister's heart broken. She's had enough heartbreak to last a lifetime. So you're happy that she's alone. Is that what you want for her? No, of course I don't. Well, then, if she's going to enter a new re relationship, eventually she's going to have to take a risk and open herself up to somebody new. But it's not going to be with your brother. Why not? What? what if she becomes for Chris what you've become for me, the woman that he's waited his entire life for, uh, his soulmate, the, 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 the perfect compliment? I mean, the, the person that makes sense out of all the things that never made sense before, you know, the answer? <laughs> You're fighting dirty. Look, I just want you to try and see what I'm seeing. Now, it's true that Katie and Chris could crash and burn, but what if they become like us and they live happily ever after? Isn't that a chance that she should be willing to take? Hmm. If your little brother breaks my little sister's heart, I will bring down upon him the full force of the law directly on his head. Ooh. Ooh. On what charge? I don't know. I'll think of something. All right. Well, accounting already has your insurance information on file. Does that mean I'm done? Not yet. Read this and sign there. Look, you really gotta think about what you're doing to Katie. But you here. better stop lecturing me or I'm gonna sue you for pain and suffering. Pain and, oh, because of pain and suffering. Well, speak of the devil. I came to give Henry a ride home. Thanks, but no thanks. I was afraid you'd say that. 
Okay, well, he shouldn't drive himself. When he gets worked up, he tends to weave. Katie! Katie. I know why you did what you did. I wish you hadn't. And maybe, eventually, I'll be able to forgive you. But right now, all I want to do is find Barbara. 